hey guys welcome back to another vlog so i had started a vlog before but i just was not feeling it like it was just choppy and all over the place i'm trying to be a little more organized with this one so if you are here welcome i'm going to be just bringing you along a few days of my life so yeah so if you are new to these vlogs i just like to do a little bit more of like laid back content where i can just you know be chill not have to like set up all of my lighting and all of that and like do sit down videos i love to just bring you guys along so i just finished making my favorite avocado toast which to find avocados here has avocados here it's like a freaking luxury so when i find them it's like i make guac and i make avocado toast and all of that so i did avocado fried an egg i like it runny i know some people think it's gross but i love it like that and then i put everything but the bagel seasoning which is from trader joe's there's no trader joe's here but my mom makes sure that i am stocked up with all of those things that i miss from over there so i'm gonna eat my lunch really quick and i have to go pick up my girls from school when i come back i wanted to do a kind of like a fridge organization type of thing i got a few things from amazon that i saw on a tiktok and i'm super excited to wash my fruits and organize some of the things in those drawers to see if i can just get the most out of my fridge i have a small fridge it's not fancy so i'm trying to organize it and i really liked those bins so i'm going to show you guys later on how i'm going to do that but for right now i'm going to have my lunch just wanted to open up the vlog and say hi to you guys and now I will see you guys when I'm ready to start with the organization.
Hey guys, so today is Sunday morning and I have done my morning skincare routine. I woke up at six o'clock this morning so that I can film a voiceover for a makeup tutorial that I did. And I have been by myself for the past week. I have another upcoming week alone because my husband is on a work trip. So he hasn't left for like, I think it was like a couple months from the last time that he left. Let me tell you, this time was so brutal. It was so hard. I don't know why it is every single time that he has to go on a work trip, all of the things happen while he's gone. Right before he left, I, I caught something. I don't know what it was, but I had really bad like congestion. I felt weak. My legs were shaking. I was getting hot and cold. That was like the Friday before he left. He left on Sunday. So I was just feeling so horrible the first like three days after he left and I had to take care of the girls and then my oldest daughter had a presentation in school so we had to get ready for that. She had to dress business casual. I had to go and support her so I went to her school and then my middle daughter was having the same symptoms as me so i was taking care of her i was taking care of the house i was filming i was editing i was cooking i was just it's been a lot so i did film myself cleaning up the living room and the dining room area of my house because since i was feeling so crappy i had such a mess in the house the house was just looking like a disaster and one day i was just like laying on the sofa i was starting to feel better and it must have been god that just poured the energy into me i was looking like a bum i was just straight up just looking horrible but i got so much energy in that moment to just clean up so i moved the sofas i moved the tv i vacuumed i dusted everything i mopped it felt so good so I did that it's just been really tiring so I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys because I know that a lot of you guys are mommies that watch me and I know that you understand how hard it can feel to just juggle everything in life you know just so many things especially when you have like I have three girls so they all have their own things going on Penelope is just exploring everything and doing a lot of crazy things around the house because she's three years old and then I have my kindergarten girl who is just she has like a lot of end of the year events coming up and then I have my daughter that's in middle school so it's a lot it, you have to kind of like divide yourself into like 700 different roles and it can take a toll on you so I just wanted to remind you that my channel is all about just stopping everything and taking some time for you so the other night I was just feeling so overwhelmed and just a simple shower, like a long shower helped so much. I did a face mask, I did some skincare, I put on a nice fragrance and I swear that just made me feel so much better. So now today, uh, it's Sunday. I cooked yesterday, so today I'm, we're gonna be eating leftovers. I am not cooking today. And I was working on my tutorial. So right after I am done chatting with you guys, I'm going to go finish up editing that video so that I can post it. I have been placing a few more orders for Sephora. This sale just needs to end. I need it to end because I just keep on thinking like, oh yes, I need that. And I'm getting it with a discount added to cart and I need, that's it like we need to stop so and it's for real because at first we thought we were going to be moving like around september then it was like a possibility that it would be august and i just found out that we're most likely going to be moving in july so i'm not even going to be spending a whole summer here like i thought i was so i just wanted to let you guys know here even though i look so crazy today whatever I wanted to let you guys know where I'm moving. I was kind of like waiting for a while because if any of you guys are familiar with the army, they love to change things up. They like to spice things up. They'll tell you one thing and then next thing you know, it's a different story. But so far it's looking like this is what's going to happen. So we are going to be moving to Kentucky. What? Like I never thought that that would be a place that I would live. And it sounds like a very calm, place if any of you guys live around there or you've been there let me know how it is i'm just so happy that i'll be back in the states i'm going to be visiting my sister which she lives in georgia 
I'm going to be visiting Chicago, which is going to be a few hours away from me. That's where I grew up when I was little. I haven't been back ever since we left. I want to visit so many places. There's just so many places. And then for the holidays, we'll drive down to Miami because that's where both of our families are at. So honestly, I couldn't be happier. I am so excited. I'm ready for that new journey. And there is going to be maybe like a month or two where I'm going to try and pre-film so that I could have content up, but it's just not gonna be the same. They might be spaced out a little longer from each other. And I hope that you guys still stick around because I'm going to be back full force I'm so excited. So that's kind of everything that's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the video that I want to edit. I have my coffee here that I haven't even started drinking, so I need to hurry up before it gets cold. And then later on today, I need to refill my shower with like body scrubs and body washes because I used up a lot of the things that were in there. So I'm going to bring you guys along for that i'm going to show you the things that i'm going to be picking out for the month like what i'm going to be putting in my shower what i'm going to be using i hope that you guys find this interesting it's kind of like girl time i'm going to show you like the body care and all that that i'm going to be putting in there and yeah that's pretty much it i'm going to see you guys a little bit later on All right guys, so time to pick out some hygiene products and body care to put in my bathroom for this month. I don't remember if I have showed my body care section, but I have gotten rid of a lot of body mist. Well, I still have them, but I am going to be making like gift bags and I'm going to be splitting them into different family members. When I take these products to my family members, they are not selfish at all. So for example, if I take it to my grandma, or my husband's grandma, they share and they give it to their cousins and their sisters and you know. So this is the part where like I didn't really think that I was going to leave here someday. So I bought so much stuff and with the move, the movers will not take anything that's liquid. So this right here is already no. So for now I just kept these and then once it's time to leave, I'm gonna have to pick maybe like five body mists, like my all time favorite, which you guys know how I do with picking favorites. It is the worst for me, but I'm gonna have to do it so that I can take some, but obviously I'm not going to take all of that because there's just no way. So I'm going to pretty much have a fresh start when I move because I won't have so many things, so many body mists and things like that. I'm just gonna have to pretty much start from scratch, which is exciting to me in a way, but then at the same time, it's like, ugh, you know, there's so many things that I love in here, but it's totally fine. I try not to get too attached to material things. So if I have to get rid of it, no biggie, you know. These hygiene products, I do want to use up before I leave because these, I this is easier for me to run through really quickly so I'm so sorry if I sound horrible you guys I don't know what I'm battling I don't know if this is allergies I don't know if I'm sick I don't know if I have a sinus infection my husband is out for a work trip so I can't even get to the doctor if I wanted to so I'm just going through it <laughs> like if you were to see me right now I look crazy I have dark under eye circles I just look horrible my chest feels a little tight I used to have asthma so I'm hoping that that doesn't come back because little by little I'm, I've just been feeling like it is about to come back. So I need to pick some body scrubs. I usually put two body scrubs in my shower at once. So I'm definitely going to be putting Tree Hut Vanilla body scrub and to go with that i'm going to be adding this in my bathroom which is the vanilla whipped shea body butter which my packaging is kind of busted so i really do need to use this 
So I'm going to be putting those two and then I have to pick between these more like summery hot weather type scrubs. So I have peach sorbet, bikini reef, blue lagoon. I think I'm gonna do the blue lagoon because I remember it smelled really like fresh and clean and I love that. So I'm going to take that one into my bathroom and that leaves me with four tree hot scrubs that I need to use up by July. I'm pretty sure I could do that easily. I have a few Fenty body butters. This Kiehl's Creme de Corps, you guys, if you have never tried this, get it. If you want a body butter that is just smooth, buttery, moisturizing, just feels amazing, this is such a good one. So yeah. I feel like a lot of people would really, really enjoy that. I have this Waikiki Beach coconut one that I'm gonna be using more towards summer. And then I have these Hany products, which I did go into the other day. As you can see, there's like a chunk missing. I loved what this did for my skin, but the first time that I smelled this, I didn't get a strong scent out of it. But when you actually apply it to your body, it smells like a woody rose. It's nice, but it gives me more like mature vibes and kind of like more serious. Like it's not something that I would enjoy like to go to bed, but the products are so good. So I'm wondering if they make like an unscented one, that would be good because this is something that would change the scent of a fragrance if you were to layer with it. So here I have hand soaps, which which I don't need at the moment. All of the bathrooms have soap. I need to move this self tanner to the bathroom because I used it once and fell in love. And then since I have it here, I forget to reach for it. So I'm going to take this with me. And then I wanna take this cucumber melon, a Bath and Body Works body wash. This is from last year. I love, this is the only cucumber body care that I actually enjoy. And I also love the Dove one, which is back there. That is the only cucumber products that I actually love. So I'm going to put this one in there. These are all like body oils. I'm not gonna go through those. So I know I'm gonna have to give some away. And this of course is my favorite from Lacetan. So yeah, and I have another body oil here. I have another body oil here. So I think, yeah, I need to go through a lot of things. So I need to enter like my whole like project to use it up era for like the next two months. It's crazy, but I'm excited also to move and have a fresh start. So that sounds way more positive than anything else to me. So I'll take whatever comes my way. So yeah, these are the products that I'm going to be taking over to my bathroom and using up for the month of May.